Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Game. We're reacting and more today. Today, 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 we're gonna be reacting to. First, we the, first we reacted to ten luckiest people in the world. Today, we're uh, today we're gonna be now we're gonna be at the ten unlu unluckiest people in the world. So yeah, um, I'm on. This would be my third freaking video today, but my third video today. I'm posting a video back to back to back to back, boys. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's we'll see what these unluckiest people has gotten themselves into. So uh, yeah, are you ready? Let me see how dark it is. If I turn this off. Can y'all see me pretty good? Yeah. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's go. Let me see some unlucky people right quick. While some of us seem to have captured the Lucky Charms leprechaun, the large majority of us, I would say, have some bad luck every now and again. But maybe reconsider how good you have it, because today, we're breaking down the top 10 unluckiest people in the world. Aye, so aye. the same people that win the lottery but forget to redeem their ticket on time. Like this video for good luck? You don't need any bad juju. And watch until the end, because some of these people are walking around with actual rain clouds above their heads. <laughs> Number 10, the worst day of work. All right, the worst some day people of work. work in offices doing paperwork all day. Some make YouTube videos. Some of us work in warehouses. You get mm -hmm. the point. Yet, we all share a common thing. We can all ruin a day's work in the blink of an eye. For one guy, it seemed like a normal day at work just moving around some product in the warehouse. This guy right. drives up to his co-workers, taking his time with the steering, and, well, the guy barely even clips the racking before the entire warehouse collapses in on him. This dude is literally... Bro, that's not even funny, bro. That's not even funny, but it is funny at the same freaking time. Oh my god, dude, imagine. I freaking imagine that happening to you, bro. Oh my god. I just quit. I'm just done. I'm just done. I, I, I'm done. No point in even working there anymore, man. I'm gonna. I can't clean that up. That's gonna take me thirty years. Harry, completely under the rubble from all the products Dang. on the shelves. Can you imagine the conversation the next morning? I hope the boss was at least somewhat understanding because. Yikes! What an unlucky turn of events. You barely Thankfully, tap in all of that hours phone. Of searching, they pulled the driver out from the rubble, safe and sound. And I can guarantee he's probably calling out for his next couple of shits. Number nine, the unlucky shopper. Right, Shopping can be a very shopper. exciting experience. Maybe you're out grabbing some new clothes or a new game came out. Even still, I think this guy's going to be avoiding heading out for shopping for a couple of months after this unfortunate event. We've got this guy peeking around what looks to be an electronic shop when he notices a few TVs set up in a pretty awkward position. Of course, he wants to inspect them a little, and that's where things take a turn for the worst. The guys at the counter are just holding their hands in their heads after seeing this happen. Honestly, I'm not really too sure what they were expecting considering how they stacked the... Bro. I mean, that is, yeah, that is the kind of their fault because they don't want to stack them like that. But, bro, I imagine, bro, you imagine you just, oh, I want this TV. Pick up the TV, you back up like an inch, knocks the TV behind you, bro. And then you try to, you get, you get, uh, scared. And so you go forward and you're not the one in front of you, bro. Oh, my man. You're just done for, bro. You're done for. TVs in such a weird way. Number eight, when a seagull steals your GoPro. Nightly strolls can be relaxing. They're a great opportunity to clear your head and zone out for a while. Sometimes, though, crazy unexpected things happen and can occasionally ruin those nice moments in a flash. This next guy is just out exploring France at night when all of a sudden he's thrown into a pretty unlucky situation. Imagine right. you're just out there chilling and some seagull pulls up and yoinks your GoPro. This little guy just picks it up with his beak and bolts it <laughs> like he just pulled off the heist of the century. It's really weird how human-like this seagull actually sounds. It's hilarious how it just straight up yells at one point. The bird just hangs out by it for a while before seemingly getting bored of it, flying off. Eventually, the guy tracks the GoPro down, of course, saying he found it on a castle wall. Weird place to leave it, huh? On a castle wall? Yo, you got me cat, bro. I'm gonna have to find that bird. <laughs> I know this guy is going to be super paranoid the next time he walks past the seagull now. I would be too. Number seven, water slide fail. We all love a bit of warmth in the summertime. Regardless of how you react to that fresh sunlight, one of the best ways to cool off from the heat is taking a dip in a pool. But sometimes people can't exactly go out and buy a water slide, I'm so they make this. their own. Number eight. 
Number four, cop leaves car in reverse. Getting pulled over by a cop is stressful enough, but what if they pulled you to the side of the road? You look in your mirror and, well, their car isn't exactly staying where you left. In the case of all these people, they just kept driving by, not bothering to even honk their horn at the guy or anything at all. Like, how does this cop not see or hear this car rolling away sooner? It must have been crazy embarrassing for this officer regardless, especially considering this dash cam footage was uploaded to YouTube of all places. Thankfully, after chasing down the car, he was able to stop it quickly so that nobody was hurt. Hopefully next time he'll make sure he puts his cruiser in par. Number two, man gets smashed by a tire. A night out. Oh, imagine, bro. Imagine just having a casual walk, bro. Do do do, and then a whole freaking tire just comes flying out of nowhere, bro. Smacks you against the freaking head, bro. Hey, that's tough. Or with some friends is typically the remedy for any bad day. In this guy's case, it may have just gone from bad to worse in the blink of an eye. He was chilling out at a roadside bar with his friends, having a laugh, enjoying a few drinks this, before man. something absolutely crazy happens. Oh, Did I you didn't. see how fast that man just flew off screen after getting smacked by that tire? It's even more unlucky if you see the crutches leaning against the chair. Poor guy can't catch a break. But honestly, my favorite Bro, part about this stuff is the guy in the top left. He just oh, looks like that happened. thing just instead happened, of reacting with a shock, And instead of reacting with shock, he looks like he's seen this happen already. It must take some serious <laughs> bad luck to somehow be in the exact place where this tire would hit. But hey, even after getting smashed by that tire, the guy lit. He suffered some damage but ended up pulling through. I guess he's not going to be drinking much after that, though. <laughs> Honorable mentions, where did that boulder come from? Before we get into our number one spot, we've got a pretty I wild honorable one. mention to show you. We're following this driver going about their day, strolling along a rainy roadway in Asia. And while right, rock slides right, are the common thing in the world, they do definitely happen. And after seeing this, I'm definitely going to look out for them in the future. What's even scarier is that you can actually spot the boulder fall from the top of the mountain at the start. It sits as an honorable... Somebody had to push that, bro. Somebody had to push that, bro. Ain't no way. Or it m m could be windy, too. I, yeah because while it's extremely unlucky for this to fall down on you, you're also extremely lucky because look how close that boulder was to falling on top of the car. It's like his car had a force field around him or something. That, that was just too close for comfort. But number one, when you're just driving and everything seems normal. Taking our number one spot, we've got another driver. This time, we're in Australia, and there are no falling rocks in sight. It seems like any other day driving along yeah, the highways when suddenly she's normal. hit by a sign from above. And yes, I meant that literally. I hope this woman doesn't oh. waste her money on lottery tickets because she has some of the absolute worst luck I have seen. She handled it really well at the time, other than just... That's not funny, bro. Imagine. I be thinking about that, man, bro. Because, like, what if one day... It just decides that it just falls on your car, bear. Oh, man. Flaming hard on the brakes, she managed they to make sure that it wouldn't they cause don't any look additional heavy, accidents for heavy. other drivers. How kind. If that sign fell and hit up near the front seat, she would have been done for. Thankfully, that wasn't the case, and she ended up being fine. Even with that green of the sign hitting from above, I can definitely see some more green heading her way soon once the insurance money rolls in. But that's mm -hmm. been our unluckiest people in the world. Hit the... Yeah, he right. He right about that. Anyways, bro, that has been some unlucky people, bro. Hmm. That's been some unlucky people, bro. Uh, which one do y'all think is what's better, the luckiest people or the unluckiest people? Anyways, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and uh, um, yeah. Tell me if y'all have a story about being unlucky or lucky, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next video. Peace.